Hi everyone, welcome to Car Gem. My name is Dom and uh, here's my 98 Honda Integra Type R that we bought a few months ago at auction. In the previous episode, we did some engine work, we changed a few suspension component and we even did the restoration on the bodywork. Today, it's going to be a little different because, you know, a car like this, 25 plus years old, it's been driven on the road for so many years and yet, the underside of the car, despite the fact that it is rust free and super clean, there's still 25 years old of dirt and grime underneath it. And the only way to remove everything is to do dry ice blasting underneath the car. What is dry ice blasting? Technically, it's a new way to clean the undercarriage of a car or the inner fenders engine compartment, it is the best way to remove everything without hurting the original finish of the car. So it's not dangerous for the paint or all the brackets, all the fuel lines, rubber lines, stuff like that. It is 100% safe when it's done by professional. Today, with the help of my friends, we are going to do the complete underside of the car, the inner fenders and the engine compartment. The car will look like it was 25 years ago when it left the showroom floor. Just before doing the dry ice blasting on the car, we need to prep everything. We need to make sure the compressor is on. It is a pretty big unit, but we need a steady flow of air pressure in order to do this. Here you have the dry ice itself. We are going to need all of this just to do a tiny car like our Integra Type R. As you can see, the car is dirty. There's no rust, but dry ice will bring everything back to the original finish. Dry ice blasting will not remove surface rust on a car. It will only clean the surface. It will remove all the grime and dust that has been applied throughout the years of driving. Dry ice blasting can be used not only in the inner fenders or the floor of the car, but you can also do this type of cleaning on metal surface like the exhaust or even wheels to bring them back to the original finish. Once we were done with the underside of the car and the inner fenders, we decided to move on to the engine compartment, 
the inner door jams and other surface of the car. intake tube just because it was titanium but all the other surface rubbers o's wires it is not dangerous for those things so we just need to be careful where we are blasting the heist but other than that the finish is turning back to original as you can see the engine block is coming back to its original silver finish and it looks brand new and probably even better the only thing that we really needed to be careful with was the original markings on the car. Since this car still got the original markings from factory, all these paint lines and stamps on the transmission and engine casing, we needed to turn down the dry blasting machine just a little bit to make sure it won't remove these markings. After six hours of hard work, here's the final result. The car looks amazing. It looks better than new. And if you want to preserve the underside of your car looking like brand new, you can even use a ceramic coating, a commercial ceramic coating that will preserve everything. So that way, if you're driving through rain or dirt, you just need to pressure wash the underside of the car and it will be back to clean again so this is the end of today's episode of car jam as you can see the underside of the car is now completely clean it looks phenomenal and not only that you can actually one fun fact with the car is that you can actually see through the wheels you can see the inner fenders you can see all the trailing arms they are shiny black again it looks amazing and this is the small things that you need to do to your car in order to, you know, score more points when you go to a, a show, a car show with these kind of cars when they are judging the restoration of your vehicle. But dry ice blasting is a bit uh, on the expensive side depending on the amount of work needed to your car, but it preserves your investment and it makes the car looks brand new, which is the most important thing in my opinion. So now that the dry ice is completed on the car, the last step to do before we unveil this car to the world will be more about the interior. We are going to restore in the next episode a bunch of stuff inside the car. As you probably saw in episode two inside the car, there was a bunch of stuff, gizmos and gadgets sticked on the dashboard and stuff like that. And um, it's pretty hard to remove all this excess glue on the dashboard without hurting the finish. So we decided to replace the dashboard. You're going to see just that in the next episode. Plus we are going to do a lot of change inside the vehicle, which will make this car look even better than new. Do you know that eBay Motors is the first place to go if you're looking for new parts for your car? You're going to see in an upcoming episode of Car Gems, we actually source parts from eBay Motors and we are going to install them in the car, such as the dashboard and the Recaro seats. One thing that I love about eBay Motors is the fact that the parts that I'm ordering are 100% guarantee fitting my car. More info in the description down below. So guys, if you like that content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that way you won't miss any other Car Gems episode and all the stuff that we remove on the car is on my eBay listing. The link is in the description down below. So guys, with that said, my name is Dom and I see you in the next one.